Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I think the same person that asked yesterday or this morning about how to find out the length of the curve. First of all, I've got it all selected, and it says right here, two objects selected. There's only one object showing. There's another object somewhere on this curve, and there it is. It's actually a hidden object. That's going to be, this is for a plasma cutter. And that would really mess up your plasma cutting. So let's do this. This is a curve. We go to Windows. We go to Doctors, Object Properties, and click on here. And we have 324.7932. I've never really done this, but I was curious whether it's in counting all the inside cuts. And I think that's what he's asking. So I'm going to go to a range and break the curve apart. And I'm going to take out that section. Now let's select it all and go up here to curve. Okay, sorry. You've got to go here, select it all, go up to range and combine it, put it back. Now we can go up here. And now we're five inches shorter than we were. So that did work. I'm going to back up here and put that piece back. So... You know, at first it said we have two objects. Now we just have one curve. Safely, what I would do in case there's something else hidden in there, let's set our nudge distance on. This thing is almost was well, 18 inches across. So let's go 18 inches. I would take the Smart Fill tool and fill it in and move it over to the side. Maybe move it twice. Delete this guy. Let's bring this one back. And then left click, no fill, right click, and make sure this is a hairline for your plasma cutter. Now I'm going to make a second video because I see some problems inside his drawing with too many nodes for a plasma cutter, but I'm not going to waste somebody's time watching that unless you really want to learn how to reduce nodes. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.